This classic video is a link from Adventures in Water Skiing, the six-part history of wakeboarding, kneeboarding, hydrofoiling, and much more. Just another day on the water. An ordinary boat, driver, skier. No way. This is hot dogging, and it's anything but ordinary. This man, Tony Clarich, is the sport's top dog. Hot dogging basically is having a lot of fun on a slalom ski, on a kneeboard, on a skirfer, which is these wakeboards out here. Anything that you can think of, it can be done. You dream it and then you do it, and that's what we're doing out here, just having a lot of fun. Tony has worked hard to have this much fun, and in the meantime, he's become the best hot dogger in the world. In addition to talent, he's had an advantage. His uncle created the sport. How did you become the father of hot dogging? Well, I, actually, I just uh, it didn't have a ramp, didn't have a slalom course. A lot of people want to get into competitive water skiing, but it, it requires a slalom course or a jump or something. They're hard to come by, so I just started doing my own thing, and I started doing tricks on a slalom ski. I didn't have a trick ski at the time, so people told me it looks a lot like it's similar to hot dog skiing that they did snow skiing. Recently, Mike invented something else. This contraption is called the air chair. You have your, your basic hydrofoil, okay, you've got your common toe, toe straps, okay, and what we've, we, we've done is we've devised a, a, a rear heel support which holds your foot in, right here, okay, then you go up to the seat, you got your seat tower, you got a belt buckle. Well, this is a whole key to the success of the air chair is being strapped to it. That's what makes it safe where it really can't hit you. Okay, now we know what it is. Now what can it do? Hot dogging on an air chair, a kneeboard, or if you decide to go with no skis at all. It's a sport that will definitely capture your imagination. Reporting from Long Beach, I'm Randy Hall.